known your name to them. I will make it known so that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them. The unspeakable name is now with his people who are made in his image in the most intimate way of all. You see, the, the heavens open, God has come down among us, the, the inexpressible, indescribable, unspeakable name is now made visible in Jesus. And all can now invoke the name that could not be uttered. Follow me. You see, man longs to see God. Man longs to know his name. And the scripture says, there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other what? Name. name under heaven, given among men, whereby we must be saved. When Philip asked to see the Father, Jesus answered by saying, to have seen him, or to have seen Jesus, was to have seen the Father. And so it is with the unspeakable name of yud Hey vav Hey, to know Jesus is to know He who is. The scripture says, for two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The rabbis in the Talmud says basically the same thing. They say it this way, if two sit together and the words of Torah, the words of Scripture, pass between them. The Shekinah glory of the glory of God uh, abides between them. For those who feared Adonai, the unspeakable name, and thought on his name. This is why Jesus said it was a, it was a oral teaching at the time, and Jesus brought focus to it. Two or three are gathered together in my name. I'm there. In John 8, Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. The Greek words are ego, ami. Where, this is where he says, I am the bread of life, I am the light of the world, I am the door, I am the good shepherd, and so forth. And all those verses, and I believe they're on your outline, all those verses are, use the same words for I am. The Greek words, ego, ami. The very same words used for God in Exodus 20, verse 2 on Mount Sinai. John makes it absolutely clear here, folks, that, G that, that Jesus saw himself as the same I am who had spoken to Moses on Mount Sinai when he said, I am the yud Hey vav Hey, I am the Lord thy God. Jesus saw himself as that. And in John chapter 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. And the Greek is actually, and God was the Word. Theos and ho logos. And that Word became flesh and dwelt among us. The Word, the I am, became flesh and dwelt and tabernacled among us. The name, listen, contains everything. It is the one that the Son of God received in His incarnation. Jesus, Yeshua, yud He vav He, the unspeakable name, saves. To pray Jesus or Yeshua is to invoke Him, to appeal to His authority, and to call Him within us. Please understand that. You are saying the unspeakable name by saying Jesus. That could not be spoken before. His name is the only name that contains the manifestation of all that it signifies. Jesus, the risen one. You see, his name, Yeshua, taken from Yahashua, Joshua, yod He vav He saves, the unspeakable name saves, his name contains all. You see, he is God, he is man. He is God and creator. 
He is God and salvation. Jesus is both fully God and fully man. Jesus is the name of the Messiah, the name of the Word made flesh. And the esteemed rabbi, the great apostle Paul, said this of Jesus. And, and these words were actually sung by him. Janet, if you can imagine, these words were actually sung by, uh, they made a hymn out of this, Philippians 2. This, the, listen to the words. Therefore, Paul says, God also has highly exalted him and given him the what? Name. Which is above every what? Name. That at the name of yod he vav he saves the unspeakable name that saves that at the name of Jesus every knee would bow of those in heaven those on earth, those under the earth and that every tongue shall confess that yod he vav he saves the unspeakable name that saves that Jesus Christ Christos in the Greek, Mashiach in the Hebrew is yod Vavhe in the Greek, it's Kyrios in Hebrew, it's Yod He Vavhe, the unspeakable name. Listen to what Paul is saying. That every time we'll confess that the unspeakable name who saves is the Messiah and is the unspeakable name to the glory of God the Father. They sung that in the early church. When Paul penned those words led by the Holy Spirit, he had. Isaiah 45 in mind. And Isaiah 45 says this. Turn to me and be saved all the ends of the earth for I am God and there is no other. I have sworn by myself. The word has gone forth from my mouth in righteousness and will not turn back that to me Every knee will bow. Every tongue will swear allegiance. They will say of me only in the unspeakable name, yod heh vav only in the Lord are righteousness and strength. Men will come to him, and all who were angry at him will be put to shame in the unspeakable name that saves in the yod heh vav in the Lord all the offspring of Israel will be justified and will glory. So the question tonight is, was Jesus God? Yes. Jesus is God. Concealed within the name of of Jesus itself, himself, the name itself is the unspeakable name, yud He vav He, the mysterious name, yud He vav He, from Mount Sinai. The unspeakable name from the mountain has spoken. The God who is, the God who was, the God who ever shall be, the saving God is now present. The revelation of God's name which began in the burning bush comes to completion in the person of Jesus, Yeshua. The unspeakable name that saves Yeshua, Jesus. The name is on our lips in our mind and in our heart. If we confess with our mouth that Jesus, Yeshua, yud He vav He, the unspeakable name who saves is yud He vav He, Lord. If we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, the unspeakable name is the unspeakable name. And believe in our heart that God is raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. Jesus, the unspeakable name given to Mary and Joseph by the angel.
angel Gabriel, a messenger of God, the Father named his son the unspeakable name. Who shall I say sent me? I am that I am, and you tell them the unspeakable name will deliver them. Jesus is God. 